My subject is, Is God One? Well, this is going to be very short, hopefully. Uh, I think there's a scripture somewhere in Numbers that says, The Lord our God is one God. Well, here again, the problem is that the word Lord is a reference to Jehovah, rep represents a single entity. The word God, always in the Old Testament, is a reference to Elohim, or God's. There's only a few cases where the word Eloah, which is a singular God, without the, the name Jehovah involved, is used. And I think those are in Jonah, Habakkuk, and, and Job. Uh, there's a whole school of thought having to do with, uh, in the Jewish religion, of the group, groups uh, that are the Elohists and the Yahwehs. Uh, of course, there really is no J in uh, Hebrew, so they don't say Jawas, they say Yawas, or Yawis. Uh, there's actually no, uh, let's see, how they do that, Jehovah, there's no, uh, 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 there's no H or something like that, so, or, or W or something like that, so it's uh, Yahweh, yeah, I think that's what it is. Not Yahweh, but a W, no, Yahweh, so there's no W, no J and no W. But so anyway, so they call them Yahweh and, and Elohim, the, the the ones who dealt with uh, uh, you know God, who weren't of, of people who were needy and were prophets and stuff like that. They knew God as uh, Yahweh, as as Elohim. Uh, for those people, they were dealing with uh, the people of Israel in terms of uh, being and you know needing to know God uh, more fullness or or individual size or life. That's I mean that's why you have different terms like Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah uh, Shama, which means Jehovah Salvation, and uh, and Jehovah Rophe, I think it refers to healing. I'm not sh quite sure about that, but anyway, different terms like that. And then even the book of Genesis, you have first the word Elohim, referring to making male and female, uh, but you know that's. Not exactly what it, what, it, what it refers to, but then later on you have the Lord God that uh, makes man, you know, which is you know Jeho Jehovah of the group. So when we say the the Lord our God is uh, one God, the way it probably should really read is the Lord our God of our uh, of the Elohim is one of the Elohim. So it's not oneness, it's not trinity, it's just an uh, integer one. However, the group may work together very cohesively and may appear to be like like one. But then why we have scriptures like, uh, was it 2 Thessalonians 16.5 uh, or 16.9, a lot of people quote this, it says, For the eyes of the Lord look to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect or really we should say, uh, mature towards them. The eyes of the Lord, okay. Eyes, re reference to the Spirit or the prophets. Uh, and those of you who, who, who use the seeing in the Spirit as a, an everyday tool might identify with the word eyes better than something else. The, uh, the God is uh, one, uh, doesn't mean like a, uh, uh, like uh, well, it, it means an, an integer one. It doesn't mean a unity one. It just means like an integer one. Uh, again, you have many Christians who will sit there and say, "Oh, well, I just believe what the Bible says," and I don't care if it's uh, the translation's idiom is you know five six hundred years out of whack. I'm just going to accept it, and that's it. Just like we have this expression, you know, "spare the rod, spoil the child." <laughs> And so on. I, th I, th I think that's in uh, uh, Psalms 22 or something like that. Uh, the word rod here is really a reference to healing. So, spare the rod, spare the healing. Spoil means to kill. In the, in the time in which this scripture was written, the word spoil meant to kill. When, uh, not as we mean it today, to spoil a child, which, which is uh, a euphemism that was only developed in the last hundred years maybe at the most last 125 years. At the time of this translation, uh, 
the King James is uh, circa is uh, uh, I believe is uh, six uh, fifteen uh, A.D. Uh, it was a it was a copy from the uh, Geneva Bible of of fifteen forty uh, done by the Dutch and then uh, you know, the whole story of Tinsdale got involved and Cornwallis and King James and blah 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 so uh, God is uh, one God which means just one one of the gods one of Elohim and uh, I guess that's it